August the 5th, 2023. Guys, it is now 7.19 p.m. Central Time. The temperature is down to 96 with a real, or the heat index, excuse me, of 109. Now, something about today has been a little bit different. The ambient temperature, just what you feel, no matter if you're in the shade or wherever you were at, was too hot. And I noticed this afternoon the fluctuations in the uh, heat indexes on my weather station here. It would be, say, 114, drop down to 108, maybe down to 106, and then spike again at 111 and within just a few minutes and without uh, any change in cloud cover. And it made me want to look at what the sun was doing and the radiation that we're seeing with our weakened magnetic shields. What you're looking at is two different images of the uh, same event. Here uh, in the center, guys, is the size of the sun. Now, these are called SOHO LASCO satellites. This is LASCO 2. In the center, uh, in the white circle, that's the size of our sun. Around this is what's called the occulter disk, and it, it's like holding your hand up in front of your eyes to block the sun if you're looking up uh, something else. Well, it's there so you can. it will dim out the sun, and we can see the events happening in the space around the sun. Now, this goes back a few days, but we've had an X flare. And it, also, we had an incoming CME today that created a geomagnetic storm that had we had a cert, uh, sudden spike in the solar wind speed and the solar wind speed temperature and that's what I was thinking when I started noticing my weather station let's play this forward now notice your timestamp going back to the first of August you're seeing these are CMEs and solar flares and the one uh, the X flare that we had would be on the right wing of the sun if you're looking at this image. Now, in your black and white on the right, you see much greater detail and you can see events that you cannot see in the visible spectrum. This satellite is between the Earth and the sun, so it gives you an Earth facing perspective. And that there's most of the uh, solar satellites are like that, not all of them. But again, we're up to the fourth, which was yesterday. Excuse the buffering. I think this uh, solar storm that we've been going through today and it still has elevated wind speeds uh, is affecting uh, the internet somewhat too. But here on the 5th there, that last frame coming in right here on the 4th, again, check it out on the right side. Uh, as it goes to the 5th, you're going to see the, a CME leave the sun here in just a moment from an X flare to your right, right there, very powerful. Switching satellites, again, another Earth-facing satellite called the SDO. We were on SOHO. This is called the TEAL or the A1A131 uh, camera. It gives you a very good look at these type of events. Let's play it forward. This is just two days starting yesterday. There's where your flare is going to come from. You notice the sunspot to your right is already active. You, let's let it play through, and you'll get that classic signature flare about to happen now, watch this, the classic X signature in the overload of the camera. Check, let's back it up. Right there. And within 8.2 minutes, it had ionized the upper level of our atmosphere from the radiation burst. Now, that's a, a what's called a photon burst, not proton. The proton density the protons will be in the CME once they start tracking it. We'll go there now and see if the models are up. Now, first, I want to go back and pause this image for a moment. But what you're, you're seeing is, from the satellite's view, a partial eclipse of the sun. And this happens when two, there's two different ways it can happen. When the moon comes between the satellite and the sun, you're going to have a much smoother edge. Or when the earth comes between it. If the, and the SDO will give you an Earth-facing perspective, but it's in a circle eight pattern or figure eight pattern, and sometimes it come, is behind the Earth looking at the sun because everything's in different orbits and everything's rotating around. That's an amazing image, though. Check that out. And they do have the model up now. I've got this paused at when the impact starts to occur on our planet. 
Now, you've got two different charts here. Both have Earth, the Stereo A satellite, which is in the red dot just to the left side of Earth. Earth is a green dot. The sun is a yellow dot. And the blue dot here is Stereo B satellite. Now, over the past years, you guys have seen these two satellites all the way. They're in the Earth's orbit, but on the opposite side of the sun, and they're getting very old, and they're, this is one of the closest I've ever seen them to our planet. So they're going to register about the same. But in the green line is your plasma density, centimeter square. That's the thickness of the proton cloud that's in the CME. And here in this bottom chart, you have what's called radial velocity in kilometers per second. We call it solar wind speed. So you're, see, you're going to see this start to rise. And I've got it paused here. This would be on the 8th at 0300 hours universal time, which is about 10, 10 p.m. on the 7th on the East Coast. So you can count across the nation from that. About five hours difference, but again, universal time. So about 10 p.m. Uh, on the 7th, we're looking at the arrival time. We'll play it through. It'll be a little clear. And it's going to leave from the sun in the center right here on the fifth starting to emerge and it's to the side or the right side so it's not a direct blast but we are going to see similar events to what we saw from a weak CME today this rapid fluctuation in the temperatures and guys the ambient temperature outside today even in the shade was very unusual and I think this is why and we know that uh, these times are going to be different than anything we've ever seen before. We're talking about South America with uh, record temperatures, and it's supposed to be their February now. But uh, this was a, a very unusual day. I've seen them hotter as far as uh, on the th thermometer, but not much. And uh, But it's just something today was different, and I think it's the exposure to the radiation that we get when we get these solar blasts. So look for the same event. Again, at least the our section of the planet will be not sun facing. Remember, 10 p.m. on the 7th. So we will be on the back side of the Earth as far as where this is coming from. But it, we will feel that heat and uh, the next morning because you can see how long this thing lasts. Probably six or eight hours. Check that out. And you're going to have the residual heat that's remaining. But, guys, we're watching this. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.